what's happening, Chris will call Sam security now. Now, now, what do we have here? We have a VW Touareg, 2013 40. Alright, so what we've done, we came, we've changed the front speakers, guys. So, got the front speakers here. I don't know what they were thinking, crappy for Rome. Um, oh look, made in China. <laughs> Alright, so, taking them out, let me see. I'll run through what we've done in a second. So, the tweet is there, okay? You see that's come out, obviously I've shown you them, okay? And we've also taken the backs out, whatever is in the front was in the back, okay? So, there and there. So, they're what we call two ways and the components, okay? Now, We've only used the crossovers in the back and we haven't used the crossovers in the front because remember, the tweeter plays a different frequency to a mid-range by having a crossover in line, it regulates it as one, we want to regulate it independently. And I want to give Ed a big, big shout out for all this and guys. He always looks after us and he knows his stuff, trust me. Now, again, the bad boy, the Forza, yeah? Guys, I'll be honest with you, you know, we all know about four channel ramps and five channel ramps, six channel ramps and all that crap. But you don't need to do that. This does everything, yeah? Eight channels and a sub out, so nine channels, okay? And it has a built-in DSP. I'm telling you guys, you don't need to look any further than this bad boy, okay? So, the Forza. Now, what we've done, okay, we've to our usual orders and setups, we've upgraded it just a little bit, just to one notch, okay? There's about a 30, 40 pound difference in terms of the speaker price. So what we've done on the front, we've put the more powerful ones in, the APK 165P, okay? Now in the rears, we've got my favorite, it's what I've got in my personal Chrysler, the APK 165. Obviously the P is the performance range, it gives you that a little bit more, okay? And what we've done in the, in the, in the rear for the sub, okay? It's the APBX10, okay? The 10 AS2, I call it the 10 RS2, all right? So when you phone us, call up for the 10 RS, and we'll know what you're talking about. Now with the Forza, and okay, you can't see it, okay? But what we've done, we've hidden it behind this panel, okay? So obviously, we wanna keep minimal. Now when you pop this light out, okay? The cable, okay, to program all these speakers is there, it's attached to that cable. So when you pull the light out, the cable come out with it, in case, now maybe you want to reprogram it or whatnot, it's entirely up to you guys. Now obviously you've got the suck there, easily removable, quick thing, no nonsense. So again, you know you can still switch this, have no sub but you still get the vocal. On this one as well, so if I get a man to go around this side, I'll show you what we've done. We've added the DRC there, okay. So you can obviously, if the kids are sleeping, you can bring it to the front, switch the sub off and everything. So a nice little stealth, stealth little place there. All right, mounting nice and neat. Now, if you guys don't like drum and bass, I really don't care, so I love drum and bass, so you're gonna hear it anyway. Oh yeah, we've also added 2K 1440p, okay? Think we're Q800 Pro 2 channel. One of the best cameras, and I've got that personal one in my car, in my personal car. All right, and listen to this. visit us in Ilford near Gansel Roundabout, okay? I tell you now, we will not be beaten in Alderson, all right? So thank you so much guys for watching, and thank you Alderson, and thank you Ed.